Alright guys, and we're back. So since last time, uh, we conquered the kingdom of, uh, the n nation of Fontaine. I recruited several more, uh, warlords, or, not warlords, um, warriors. And now we have these guys to deal with. So we have the bug place, ah, uh, Chrysalis, Chrysalia, yeah. So we have the bug kingdom, the electric kingdom, and the fighting ki kingdom. This one is probably going to be our last stop here. And I want to say that they can attack you, but I haven't seen... Uh, I don't remember any evidence of them actually doing such a thing. We'll see. Anyway, we want to get our grass people over here to defend the place, and or just our strongest types up in Ignis, or whatever. I don't know yet. We'll find out. Next month. Oh wait, no, not next month. There's nothing else to do. Yeah, so next one. December. You are now able to challenge the warlords of, warlords of Pugilus, Violite, and Chrysalia to battle. We're up against some pretty fearsome opponents this time. Pugilus especially is full of fighting type Pokemon. They might be too strong for normal type Pokemon like Eevee and Jigglypuff, and I have a feeling these warlords might try to uh, try invading our kingdoms too. If we don't station warriors to defend our castles, we could be in trouble. Just be careful, alright? So, the thing is, they won't really attack you um, if you have any um, Pokemon anywhere. Or, like, Pokemon Lords anywhere. Because as soon as they attack a place, they can't, because they can't attack multiple times, um, their forces will be split. And if you have anybody else that can go over to their kingdoms, they'll be dr dramatically weaker, and they'll be easy to take. So, uh, they don't really attack you at all, unless it's, yeah, like, say, nobody here, and nobody here, and you just have an army here, and you have nobody here. They, they'll attack, they'll take it, and then they'll sit here, and yeah, stupid things happen. Anyway, so, Ginchio, that'll be our next target. Just because of how easy they are. So how you're supposed to do this is you grab your grass guys to take on the electric guys. Now you have electric. You can probably handle these guys with no problem almost. Or maybe fire guys too. Huh? But you need the bugs from this person to help resist all the fighting moves these guys tend to carry. Nah, eh, there's methods to it. But I think. Yeah. Let's be a little ballsy here. Let's let's attack Pugilus right away. There are lots of fighting type Pokemon in Pugilus. Normal type Pokemon like Eevee and Jigglypuff will need to be careful. I just wish we had some flying or psychic type Pokemon. Yeah, wouldn't those be nice? But we're just gonna send everybody in anyway. Because what's the worst that could possibly happen? Yes. On your marks, get set, total destruction. The Kingdom of Pugilus. Azurus, I've been waiting for you. Waiting. What do you... The so-called warlords of this area are pathetic weaklings. Invading their kingdoms would be no fun at all. Something does seem to be kicking off in the north, but that's still far away. And now you're here. I think this could be the most fun I've had in years. So we got cool music. Now, there's four flags there. Now what we now they'll go out of their way to try to ca uh, get those. Oh dang, we should have brought the fire type Pokemon with us. So you have to hold the banners for five turns or defeat all your opponents. The banners are at the ring's edge. You know what this means, don't you? It's a gamble, just like everything else in life. Those hit by attacks when at the ring's edge will fall down below, and it takes you forever to get back up, and I hate that. Anyway, so you'll notice that they're all about the same strength as Eevee. They're, this one's a bit stronger. Yeah, they're all stronger. Whatever. But since we have a lot of bug types here, they can tank some hits for us. But we don't really have much in the way of range. Um, this levitator will help us get the flags. Easily enough. Now 
Now, I'm not going to worry about those boxes, even though it's tempting treasure. Uh, we don't really need the contents. And it's lagging quite a bit. I think I know why, by the way. I'll, tr I'll try to fix it in a second. After these guys are done having their turns. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. I don't think that did anything. Anyway, flag for us. Or banner, as you like to call them. I generally want to stay out of that timber's way if possible. Or that timber girder. Yeah, so we'll be fine where we are. Okay. So he can't quite reach there yet. And actually, I think because of the strength of these guys, you're not meant to take them out right away. You are supposed to bring them out. Um, so yeah, we can do this. They should. There we go. Yeah, two. They should just fall out like that. So yeah, you can see we're not really doing that much. Mindwit people are very useful for knocking them off the edges. Looks like I'm at a disadvantage. But it wouldn't be any fun if the odds were in my favor. Not knowing whether you're going to win or lose, that's the true thrill of the battlefield. Mm, I'm inclined to disagree. Knowing you're going to win is a thrill. Twelve damage? Oh, that was kind of weak. Yeah, we have access to the full heal, so we don't really have much to worry about there. And they need to actually hit you in a direction that would push you backwards, so just being hit on the side won't knock you off. Um, yeah. So let's see. Let's... Let's do it. Oh, I knocked my own guy off. Didn't mean to do that, but it happens. Now, Jigglypuff is going to get beaten really badly here if we're not careful. And we're not careful, so we will. So what I'm actually going to do, if at all possible, no, not this time. Um, I was going to knock off my Jigglypuff, so that way they, she wouldn't be an active target to be hit by these fighting types. But since Eevee is going to be kind of useless here, we can't jump off. So, let's just run back. And we can actually just attack these guys from behind. As far as I know, they will not turn around to attack you. Their main objective is to just get the flags and attack anybody in the way. But if you're behind them, constantly attacking them, they shouldn't fight you. Like that. And they're gonna knock Jigglypuff off. I really don't care. That timber's gonna land on the flag, though. Okay, let's see, can I do some decent damage? Yes, I can. Actually, 
we knock them off? Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna hit them. But I'm gonna ha try to have my Sawaddle, um, blocking the... way. Like, they can still, um, knock my Levitator off, but he should be able to just Levitate back on, so... That's kind of why I put him there. It's also kind of an accident, too. I didn't purposely intend to do that. It just happens fortuitously like that. And looks like we're not going to be able to recruit any of these guys since we've taken too long and that been too long already. Oh, so they're just going to do that, eh? Yeah, we can take the hits. I guess it counted as a side hit if I fell off. Wow, 88? Holy crap, that did a lot. That did way too much. So we have five turns to protect the banners. Can you just... Yeah, you can just come back up here, good. I was pretty sure they could, but I wasn't 100% certain. Sure. Well, we don't need to sit on it, though. So if we wanted to, we could just camp here for a while and win the game, but I feel like actually attacking my opponents. Jeez, Jigglypuff just bit that one. So much for the full heals that I was planning on getting out of that. the damage thing there. And what I mean by that, I mean I'm not going to win a one-on-one -on -one attack fast. And we also need the experience from defeating these guys too, so it's best just to attack them. Uh, I really don't want to <laughs> take the hit, so end the turn. me around. That's rude. Especially with that kind of damage. Ouch. What are you doing? I'm just gonna sit there in defense of Oh. Oh, you're gonna move us around! Oh, you jerks! No! That was not what was supposed to happen at all. How did this happen? No. Jeez, ouch. That wasn't supposed to happen at all. Did I seriously just do one point of damage? Let's knock him off. Yeah, 
Yeah, I ate his potion. That's nice. Don't really think we can do much here. Just sit on the flag, whatever. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna kill Pansage. Hmm, this isn't going well. And I'm sure they don't have an interest in attacking back. They'd rather get the flags. Like, they will attack you, like I said, if you're in the way. And that thrust is annoying, because it adds knockback to their attacks. Okay, we can afford to sit on the flag again. You off. And they got a potion. Oh well. Whatever, whatever shall I do? And since Swaddle doesn't do enough damage to matter, ooh, a power wristband. That might actually be useful. And they just use, use the potion. How well can I block the way here?
they were supposed to move me out of the way first. But, yeah, they're just being jerks. Um, yeah. Hopefully we can... Actually, I don't think we can, not like this. I don't think we can win like this. Stop taking the items, gosh dang it. Oh, don't. Don't you dare. Let's use that potion. What are these bells for? I have no idea. Let's go find out. Yes, let's end the turn. At least they're attacking in a dumb fashion. Oh, did they have to get the crit? That's terrible. Um... Okay, let's stick you on the flag. I'm gonna sacrifice my Eevee here. Because it's necessary. Yeah, it's necessary. That damage is insane. I don't think I'll be able to protect the flags long enough. Because of that stupid crit. Yeah, because he can move one, two, three, and take it. Um, this is no good. Barring a miracle or like AI stupidity, I don't think we're gonna get it. No, they're being smartish about it. Like, I freaking had it! <laughs> Please tell me you're just gonna run off to the other floor. Why are you doing this to me, game? Is he just gonna run over here and punch me off? Or is he just gonna sit there? We'll see. I wanna actually see what they do. Okay, so they just sit there. Damn. 
damage is still freaking crazy. Sorry about the lack of commentary here, but you can kind of see how this went south. <laughs> Don't need me to say anything about it. I like it when the odds are against me, but you have to overcome those odds or it's no fun. Aren't you getting tired of losing all the time? So yeah, we lose. We don't actually really lose anything besides time. We, we got a bit stronger. And his guys gained morale, as you can see their energy went up. And I think we lost some. Yeah. But you don't really lose much. Let's... let's mine. Um... No! Why can't I mine? There we go. So we get a thousand gold. I'll take it. And nobody to recruit. Oh, actually, there was somebody to recruit there. Oh, well. Yes, it passed the next month. Alright, well, let's try somebody else right now. Something to recruit there. We should probably go grab them. And there's people to recruit here too. But I'm only interested in conquering the nations. Right now. And let's see if something really nice. Let's just check it out. See what they got. Uh, it looks like a loser, so I'm not gonna bother. Not with that guy. There was a person here. What do you guys got? Guy with an onyx. That's not gonna help us too much. We'll get a ground type for it though. Oh, screw it. Let's do it. Um.